Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be discussing my August TBR. I am well aware of the fact that right now it's already mid-August, but because Booktubeathon essentially lasted the first entire first week of August, and I'm technically in the middle of another readathon, but whatever. <laughs> but at the same time though, I was also catching up on my July books, so I wanted to just I figured I'd just do my August TBR during the middle of the month. That way I'll have at least two weeks, two solid weeks really, to at least focus on these books. So the pile of books that I'm trying to read for August is a little bit smaller than it is normally. Okay, technically I think it's still a lot of books, but whatever. Let's just move on with the rest of the video. So there are two things that I really want to focus for August. One is try to read more Read Harder challenge books because clearly if you had checked my reading challenge update back in July which I'll link above for you guys to check out but I'm not doing so well so this month I really want to focus on some of the selections there and try to get some of those reading challenges out. The second focus that I want to do is apparently it's also ARC August which means you're trying to read a lot more like advanced reader copies in the month of August and I actually have quite a few that I figured I'll just try to read as much as possible so those are two main focus that I have for the August TBR. So in lieu of that the first book that I picked is one that's going to fulfill the Read Harder Challenge which is to read an opera book club selection and I've actually seen this book a few times around when I was commuting so it should be a relatively good pick. And this book is called Behold the Dreamers by Imbolo Boy. I'm hoping I pronounced that name right. I watched the YouTube videos to see how to pronounce the name, but I feel like this is a name that I'm going to struggle with regardless of watching all of those videos, <laughs> how to pronounce her name, but I have tried my best. So anyways, this book follows a Cameroonian immigrant called Jende Jonga. I hope I pronounced that name right, and his wife Nenny. And they basically live in Harlem with their six-year-old boy. And then one day he gets he lands a job as a chauffeur for Clark Edwards, who is a senior executive at Lemon Brothers. And his wife actually, Clark's wife, actually ends up giving Nenny a temporary summer job as well. So with these opportunities, Jende and Nenny think that they're future might have some better prospects. But then the financial world is rocked with the collapse of the Lemon Brothers and basically all four of their lives have changed drastically and this book just focuses about the aftermath of what had happened. So this book does sound really interesting actually. I mean I've heard really good things about this book. I've actually have heard like really positive things and then really negative things so we shall see, but this is the first pick that I want. This is the first book that I want to read during the month of August. So the next book that I want to pick is also going to fulfill another Read Harder challenge, and that is to read a book about true crime. I don't usually read too many books about true crime just because they're nonfiction, and I'm not the biggest fan of nonfiction. But this one does sound really interesting, and this book is called The Fact of a Body by Alexandra Marzano Lesnovich. I've tried to also try to Google her name in terms of how to pronounce it, and the first thing that popped up was no one could pronounce my name. So. I hope I pronounced this name right. But anyways, this book does sound really interesting. This book is a memoir and it's also about a murder. This book follows the story of the author herself when she was a young law student. I guess she was doing a summer internship in Louisiana and she was working to help defend men accused of murder. And as a child of two lawyers, she is staunchly anti-death penalty. But then one day she reviews this old tape and there's a convicted murderer, Ricky Langley's face. And at that moment, she felt the intense desire to just have him murdered. And because she's so shocked by her reaction, just, she decides to dig deeper into this case. But as she digs deeper into this case, she finds a more complicated narrative than the evidence had suggested. And as the book continues, not only is she examining Ricky's life, but also she's forced to kind of examine her own life as well. So I don't know, this book sounds really, really interesting and I'm very excited for it. So those are the two books I want to read that will fulfill the Read Harder challenges. Moving on to the rest of my TBR list, which, is, which are all arcs that I got from Book Expo slash BookCon. So I try to pick arcs that are coming out in September, that way they'll be relevant when I actually review them, either on this channel or on my blog, so just letting you know these are all coming out in the month of September. The first book that I want to pick up is A Heart in a Body in the World by Deb Coletti. I've read previous a lot of her previous work and I've really enjoyed it, so I have really good hopes for, high hopes for this one as well. It's about a girl called Annabelle who basically is doing a cross-country run because she's trying to run from her past. Something happened about a year ago and it has haunted her since then and she just can't seem to outrun that past. And as she's running cross-country, her brother and her two friends become self-appointed publicity publicist for her and she gains media attention and while all the support around her 
her is nice, she can't help seem to shake off the guilt and the shame from what happened back home. So that's basically what the book is about and I'm very excited to pick this one up. Then the next arc that I want to pick up is The Seven and a Half Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle by Stuart Turton. I actually, okay, so when I was looking this up recently, I saw that there was actually another book out there called The Seven Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle and I believe it came out a year ago. So I'm not sure why they, and it seems like the story is the same. So I'm not sure why this one is called Seven and a Half and the other one is called Seven Deaths. It seems kind of strange to me that the title of the same book will be different. But anyways, regardless though, I'm very excited for this one. So this book is about a woman called Evelyn Hardcastle, kind of obvious, and every night at 11 p.m. she will be murdered. There will be eight days and there are eight witnesses for this other guy called Aiden Bishop to, to kind of inhabit them. And during that time when he inhabits them, he has to try to find her killer and break this cycle. So this book sounds really intriguing and I'm very excited to pick up this one. The next book that I want to read is The Sisters of the Winterwood by Ren Rosner. I've also heard really good things about this book and it's a magical realism novel and as you can see I think now that I'm looking at it they're all different uh, genres. The first one was like a YA contemporary, the second one was a murder slash thriller, and this one is a magical realism so clearly I'm trying to I'm trying to pick books from different genres for this month as you can clearly tell. So anyways, this book is about two sisters called Liba and Leia who live in this remote village that is surrounded by vast forests on the border of Moldova and Ukraine. And there they live a very peaceful and sheltered life. Their mother has always told them do not interact with strangers. But then one day this troop of mysterious men arrives and Leia falls under their spell. And as dark forces close in on this tiny village, the sisters find out this family secret that has been passed down through generations. So there's magic, there's old fairy tales, there's dark forces and evil so this book sounds really really good and I cannot wait to pick this one up. The next book that I want to pick up is one that I have been highly anticipating for a while now and I'm glad that it's September or August but it's almost September which means I can finally pick up this book so it's relevant when I actually review it. So this book is called Uncharted by Erin Cashman. This one is considered as a YA fantasy slash mystery novel. So this book is about a girl called Annabeth who prefers the fantasy of her books and paintings to reality because in reality her mother is dead and it is all her fault. And in exchange, she vows to make her father's life a lot easier, but then one day, he goes missing in the woods while visiting his friend's secluded manor. And now she thinks that her father isn't just lost, but something sinister has happened. And then she goes off to investigate on her own, and there she finds magic and mystery and myths and legend, and then she stumbles upon a secret. So this book sounds really, really interesting. I cannot wait to pick this one up as well. Then the last book that I want to pick up for the month of August is Ignite the Stars by Maura Milan. I literally just talked about this book in my book haul video, so I will link that above. But this is a YA sci-fi book, so I have literally all the genres here. I have mystery, I have thriller, I have uh, contemporary, fantasy, magic, sci-fi, you know, everything as you can possibly consider for books. So I'm very excited for this one as well. So anyways, those are all the books I want to pick up for the month of August. There's seven books, but with about 14 days or so, I think I can do it. Fingers crossed. But I mean, a book every other day is not that bad for me. I mean, book two a thon, I literally read a book a day. And then the last day, I just gave up because I was so burnt out from reading a book a day that I couldn't do it anymore. And I wanted to just not read. So, but I was able to do basically six books in six days with the last day as a break slash I was done with book two a thon. So I think I can do this. So anyways, those are all the books I want to read for this month. Let me know in the comments below if any of these are books that you're also trying to read or if you read them, if you like them or not. Let me know all of that information down below. And as always, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe down below. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. That's it for today, guys. Thank you. Bye.